I spent like 30 minutes straightening my hair for this video only for it to be like a thousand and ten degrees in my room right now What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm doing what I'm hoping is a really fun video today I thought of doing this video again like a month ago um, Because I was going through my channel and I saw that I did this video I want to say like three years ago, maybe two years ago. I did a video called what's in my everything. So pretty much I did like three videos in one. I did a what's on my iPhone, what's in my bag, and what's in my car. And yesterday too, I did get a new phone. I finally, finally upgraded from my cute little iPhone 11 to an iPhone 13 Pro. It looks like it's green because this one's green, but I got it in black. It was like midnight I don't know, I didn't really care what color I got. I was like, give me anything. Like I said, the first part of this video is gonna be the what's on my iPhone. But before I get started with that, I do have to give a really, really big thank you and a big shout out to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. So Warby Parker is actually really, really cool. It offers everything you need for happier eyes, eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them online or in stores. Their glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. One of the best parts about it is that you can try Warby Parker's free at-home try-on program. You basically go on their website you take a little quiz and you choose five glasses it could be eyeglasses sunglasses whatever it is you choose five of them and they ship them to your house for free and the best part of it is that you can try them at home at the comfort of your own home you don't have to be like at a store where you have like the salespeople staring at you while you're trying them on like waiting for you to buy something and you can try them on as many times as you want and they also send you a prepaid return shipping label so they send them to you completely for free and you can send them back also with no charge if you guys are interested in trying out five pairs of their glasses you can use this link and and I'm gonna have it linked down below and you can check it out there. So I actually took the quiz and I received my five pairs of glasses right here. This is the first pair, just a cute little pair of clear glasses. This was the pair that was kind of like experimental for me because I don't usually go for like the round. Ooh, but now that I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, I also got a pair of sunglasses. Look at that, cute. These last two glasses are my favorites. It does make me look like a teacher, but I'm kind of okay with that. This last pair is my favorite pair. Just the style of it the sides everything i love oh my god and it's so comfortable because one of my like pet peeves with glasses is when they're very very cute and they look good on you and everything but like you know the nose bridge situation sometimes it's like really really painful or it's too heavy these all of them are like incredibly light so i don't know i just feel like for the price you're getting a really really good quality pair of glasses i honestly just think the concept of warby parker is really really cool because in the comfort of your own home you can try on these five pairs of glasses you can keep one you can keep two you can keep them all or you can keep none and send them back for completely free so yeah if you guys are interested in trying warby parker out you guys can click the link in the description and once again thank you so much to warby parker for sponsoring this video and let's get started with the riveting idea of what's on my iphone it's been like over 24 hours that i've had it and i still have not bought a case for it i'm being really really brave right now i hope it's like bravery and not stupidity that i haven't put a case on it all of the cases that i've ever gotten have been from wildflower because they're so freaking protective but i couldn't decide on which one to get yesterday so if you guys know of cute places to get cases comment down below okay so this is my phone this is my screensaver i'm completely obsessed with my lock screen i'm gonna try to make a pinterest board of all of my um wallpapers but this one is just so cute with the hearts and everything i think it's adorable this is the first page second page third page fourth page and that's it if you guys can see the wallpaper on my home screen it's so freaking cute i also changed that last night so let's start with the first page this is the like screen where i'm on most of the time so at the top i just have the calendar situation is kind of basic but i like it but the two pictures that i have on there the first one just says a dreamer that's what she was i just think that's super super cute that's also from pinterest and the one at the bottom is one that i change all of the time because this is the screen that i stare at the most every time i see something like motivational or something that i want to remind myself all the time that's where it goes the apps right here the ones at the top are kind of like color coded which is pretty cute but it's just pinterest youtube youtube studio which is just like if you have a youtube channel youtube studio is like where you go to see comments where you go to like comments all that type of stuff and my bank of america app and then at the bottom is just spotify a folder another folder and tiktok i have an obsession with pinterest my pinterest is like my safe place i love it's probably my favorite app ever this other folder is just starbucks and amazon love those apps even though i don't i wish i didn't love them as much as i do starbucks i kind of go there a little too often and amazon i love amazon but amazon is a problem it really really is and i've actually it's been like a week since i've ordered something and i'm trying to like start a new record for myself because it's just so freaking easy you're just like oh it gets here in a day and a half cool order it maybe i should like not have them in my front page and then maybe i wouldn't use them as often 
whatever and then i have instagram right there you guys should follow me on instagram if you don't you know i'm not like crazy annoying i'll like i double think everything i post i'm like mm, does anybody really care but i'm trying to get out of that habit i'm trying to post more post more stories post more things and just be like you know if i care that's enough that's fine because i'm still be like you know nobody really cares if i'm posting my like coffee or something but i care so i'm starting to post more on there second page and if you guys know where this quote is from that i have right here like at the top pause this video Give yourself a hug because you're you're special. But that quote is from Love in Other Words, which is one of my favorite books of all time. And then I have a picture of my dog because he looks absolutely adorable there. And then I also have a picture of a bunch of books. I have camera, photos, photo and video, which is just all the apps that I use. First I have Visco, which is where I edit all of my pictures. I have both Facetune 2 and Facetune 1. I only use Facetune 1 when I like wanna blur something out or like whiten something, whatever it is. But Facetune 2, I remember I got it like two years ago and I had to pay for it. So I was like, I might as well just keep it. But basically Remini is like, if you have a really really blurry photo or maybe you have like a like a vintage photo or i don't know like a photo from like a long time ago where the faces of the people are kind of blurry that app helps by making it not blurry and it literally makes you like look more focused and stuff like that which i really really like then there's retouch and retouch i literally use in almost every single one of my photos retouch pretty much just erases something from your photo in the most subtle way possible i'm actually going to show you guys so let's go with this picture i don't even know why i took this picture it's not that cute but if you guys see that like wire in the back that's like over there I'm pretty sure it's like for a light fixture and stuff, but we don't have a light fixtures and it just looks like a weird awkward Cable hanging down. You kind of have to be like really careful with it because if you don't It'll like erase something that you do want in the picture Then you zoom out and it's gone and then you can see the before and after and then after retouch i have a lens buddy i haven't used lens buddy but i do think if i were to use it it'd be really really helpful i saw it on a tiktok and it basically takes pictures for you you set up your phone and you like set it in some way somehow where it's gonna burst a bunch of photos it's gonna take a bunch of photos and you can just pose and it'll be taking the photos for you i have happy color this is literally the most like therapeutic game i've found it's every single little kid that asks me like do you have games this is the game that I give them and they're so freaking obsessed with it. I go on this one and I'll usually go to interiors. I love doing interiors and you have to get like every single color to finish the picture. And it's just so time consuming that it's actually entertaining. So I don't know. I really, really like that one. Okay, but 1888 is basically a disposable camera app. And it literally, it's the, I've tried many disposable camera apps like that. And this is the only one that I found that actually takes good quality pictures. But that gives off that like disposable camera effect. I'm going to take one. And it's right there. If you're looking for like a good disposable camera app, I think that's a really, really good one. This picture at the top, I found it from Pinterest. And I just thought it was so cute. Like this little couple walking with their dogs. I just thought that was adorable. And then I have a folder called a board board because um, I guess I only go on these when I'm bored bored. Even though that's not really the case. I don't. I have Twitter and I have Snapchat, but I never use them. I might as well just delete them at this point. But the reason I don't delete Snapchat is because of all like the pictures and memory stuff that I have on there. You know when like Instagram is down? Well, I'll go on Twitter and write like Instagram down. And if everybody's saying that their Instagram is down, that's how I know. Um, other than that, I really don't. I really don't use Twitter or Snapchat, you know. Finally, the last page, and it's the least interesting of all. And I have travel, which is just Airbnb, Uber, Zillow, booking. I go on Zillow just to look up houses that are like incredibly expensive and just to like look at the architect and look at like the prices and look at all this stuff. I, I literally have an obsession with going on Zillow. You guys can see my all my alarms that I have. Look at this. I have so many alarms. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it for all I have on my phone. Now let's move on to everything I carry in my purse.
At the beginning when I started driving, I tried being one of those like, you know, have like a little kit in my car with like a first aid kit, band-aids, with like a blanket and like all of these things that are like maybe one day I'll need. But those things quickly ran out and now I just keep things that I know I actually use. There is honestly nothing worse. And this has happened to me multiple times. You're going to a party, you're going to like a get together, you're meeting up with a friend, you're going out, you know, you spent like two hours doing your makeup, doing your hair, picking an outfit, you're super fucking excited. You get to the place where you're going and you remember, you forgot to put on deodorant. Fuck. Or, or you got crusty elbows. So to avoid all of that, there's a pack of three things that I always, always, always keep in my car. First being this little travel size lotion. Ashy elbows, ashy knees, you forgot to put on lotion and you're wearing shorts. You never know, but it literally, like you will never be more thankful for it than when you're like about to go out in public and you got ashy elbows. <laughs> Second, deodorant. I don't have to say anything. You just, you forget sometimes, you know? You think it's second nature to just throw it on, but sometimes you forget and it's the worst. I will not go anywhere if I don't have my deodorant because I'll think that I smell like a fucking gorilla. So, deodorant. And lastly, a little body spray. I literally put it in my car when it was new and it's almost out. Next, I have a big old thing of gum. This isn't even just for me, it's for everybody in my car that wants one, take it, I don't care, I got a big old pack. Next, a hoodie. I don't care if it's your favorite hoodie, I don't care if it's your least favorite hoodie, you just never know. It could be late at night, you get really cold. Usually for me, there's always a long drive ahead to get back home, um, and I don't wanna be driving, and I don't wanna be in the car for like an hour with my uncomfortable outfit at the end of the night. I just wanna throw on a hoodie and be comfortable. So I always, always, always carry a hoodie in my trunk. I don't care if it's the ugliest hoodie I have. And lastly, it's my driving sunglasses. These are just sunglasses that I genuinely don't care about. These were like $12. I just don't care about them. I can throw them everywhere, but they are the most comfortable glasses ever, and I love, 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 love driving in them, so I keep them in my car at all times. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video now before I find something else to go on a rant about. I think my next video is probably gonna be a vlog, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I love you guys, and I'll see you guys really, really soon with another video. Bye!